a follow-up. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of a follow-up to the video that I just did because I want to read you guys the scripture really quick and talk about that also. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm reading in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 32 um, through 37, so bear with me. And I'm sorry, this is not my good camera, but like I said, I don't care. I'm not going to let this message um, get away from me. <laughs> okay, so sorry if it gets a little dark and stuff, but yeah, this is this is my bad camera. But anyway, David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Saul replied, You are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a boy, and he has been fighting a, he has been fighting a fighting man from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from his mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by the hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. Um, this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of the Philistine. Saul said to David, go, and the Lord be with you. <laughs> All right. You probably have so many people that are doubting you. You have so many people that don't believe in you. I am one of those people. <laughs> you don't have a lot of people behind you. You don't have a lot of people backing you up. You don't have a lot of people that are, the people are looking at you like, you're nothing. You know, you can't do this. You need to tell them just like David told them. I have the living God behind me has given me victory and everything. I have fought lions. I have fought bears because you know what God has brought you through before he has delivered you from. You know what you've been through and you know that God was behind you. You know that you are a, a child of the most high and nobody can come against you. Nobody can tell you you can't. Nobody can tell you what you haven't been through and what you haven't come through. And you've got to tell those demons, tell those people, tell those circumstances and rebuke them in the name of Jesus, telling them what God has brought you through, knowing who God is in your life. And you've got to do just like David did in any circumstance that comes at you, just like this, this giant came and you see Saul didn't believe in him. He told him, you're just a boy. You know, this is an experienced soldier here, you know, but he told him. And what did Saul do? Saul had no choice to say, okay, go and let God be with you because they weren't going to do it. They didn't have the courage to do it because that's what they see in you. They see that you do have the courage. They see that God is with you. They see that God stands with you and they see what God has brought you through. They see what God is doing in you and they're doubting you. They're hating you. They're being wicked and evil people against you. And you got to go and defeat that Goliath with God behind you. God, there's nothing that is too hard for God to do. And you've got to ma stop making your circumstances so big that they cannot be defeated. You've got to remember who you are in Jesus and you've got to remember who Jesus is in you and for you and he fights your battles and he goes before you and gives you the victory the victory vindicating you delivering you you saw in that scripture he said the same god who delivered me from those bear and from that bear and those lions will deliver me from this philistine i can do this stop doubting yourself stop fearing and believe and trust in god your breakthrough is coming your deliverance is coming. It could be right there. Keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward. And know that God is going to bring you through any circumstance that he has brought you to. And he has brought you to something that is not too hard for you to handle. And God can handle anything. Anything. There's nothing too hard for God. And when you belong to God, he wants to show everyone else who he is. He wants the glory. And he's going to make sure that you receive it. So all the Philistines, all the armies of the Philistines and all Saul's army saw David defeat that Goliath with little to nothing. But he had everything because he hoped in Jesus. He hoped in God. 
And he knew he could defeat it. He had faith in him. He knew he could defeat that giant. And bam, with one hit, he knocked him down. That nine foot giant knocked him down. And that's the same way that you've got to look at your circumstances. Boom, one hit. That's all it takes. And I've knocked that one down too. Next, you know, because you know, as a child of God, you're going to suffer through many a circumstances, many a situations, many a giants, but you've got to take them one by one, day by day, moment by moment in God, knowing that you're going to defeat it, knowing that you're going to get the victory, knowing that you're going to come through it. So just continue to hope and believe and trust and know that you're going to defeat it. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.